Hello everyone, Justin here from Dragon Blogger, and here showing you that Streamlabs in the latest update that released on April 16th now allows you to have an emote wall. This is very similar to the Capigen feature in Stream Elements and was a highly requested feature of Streamlabs. Basically what happens is if somebody blasts your chat with a lot of emotes, this allows those emotes to explode all over your screen and kind of an alert pop up. That way it adds more fun, more excitement, and it encourages users to do emote blasts and, and participate that way. So all you need to do to set this up now is update to the latest version of Streamlabs, then go to your Streamlabs dashboard, widgets, emote dash wall. Then what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to copy your widget URL, and that will copy it to your clipboard. So it's in your, it's in your clipboard. You want to enable your settings, enable the wall widget, which is called emote wall, set the duration. I found seven seconds. The default's five seconds, which I found a little too short. So I set to seven seconds. It worked out for me. Set the size of the emotes. Do you want them to be small? Or you want them to be a little blown up? You know, find the size that looks best for your stream. If you stream in 1920 by 1080, you're probably going to want a little bit larger. If you, uh, if you stream in 1280 by 720, you probably want them a little smaller. So experiment with the size first. You can choose combo required, which is where the, the same emote has to be used multiple times or else it won't trigger an emote wall explosion. And then you can ignore duplicates if you don't want to see multiple of the same emote and you only want the unique emotes to bounce, which would reduce the amount of emotes you see on the screen if somebody uses a lot of the same emote in their chat message. So when you got that done, you click Save Settings. Then you want to go over to your Stream Labs. You want to add a new browser source by clicking Add Source. You want to choose Browser Source. And then I'll show you, I have a browser source here called Emote Explosion. You want to copy that, uh, that link that you managed to get up there, which is your browser source. I set my width to the full width of my screen because I want my emotes to bounce all over my screen instead of only being restricted to a portion of my stream. So I stream in 1920 by 1080. And then I basically have it to where I refresh when Steam becomes active. Click Done. Now all you need to do is test it. So you go to your... Um, your dashboard, because you could be offline and test it. Just leave your slobs open. So you can go to your dashboard, and I'm going to pre-queue a message here. And I'm going to pre-queue a message here, right, which has a whole bunch of emotes. And I'm going to hit enter and blast it, and then quickly go over to Streamlabs. And boom, you can see the emotes exploding all over my screen. Now I have a display capture on, but you can see the emotes exploding over my screen. And I'll do that again there for you. And now if I was live streaming, you could see those emotes. If somebody does emote blasts, like you get a raid from Team B42 or something where they do the emote blasts, you'll now see those explode all happily over your screen and adds just a little fun and excitement to your streaming. So that is how you add the new emote wall in Streamlabs. Enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.